Welcome to this presentation on agri-recovery and the Canada Manitoba Bee Mortality Assistance Program. This presentation will cover program eligibility, how to apply, and how to calculate payments. First, a quick description of the overall program. So agri-recovery funding is available for Manitoba commercial beekeepers affected by severe bee mortality over the 2021 to 2022 winter. This program provides support to commercial beekeepers to help offset the extraordinary expenses required to replace lost colonies. And to receive funding, beekeepers must complete and submit the application worksheet no later than 11.59 p.m. on August 31st, 2023. program eligibility. This program is open to beekeepers who had an active beekeeper registration with the province of Manitoba and who owned 50 or more colonies as of November 1st, 2021, who wintered their colonies in the province of Manitoba between November 1st, 2021 and May 21st, 2022, who experienced extraordinary winter losses, so losses greater than 30% over the 2021 to 2022 winter, and who purchased replacement stock to cover their colony losses and are able to provide proof of purchase. Eligible purchases and payments. Assistance is available for purchases between January 1st, 2022 and June 30th, 2023 to replace extraordinary losses over the 2021 to 2022 winter. Purchases to replace normal winter losses are not eligible for assistance. So within this program, normal winter losses are defined as 30% of your November 1st, 2021 inventory. And payment rates are based on the highest value replacements after normal losses are covered. And so the payment rates for each type of replacement stock are listed here. So colonies, so either full colonies or nucleus colonies will be paid at a rate of $210 per colony. Packages will be paid at a rate of $140 per package, and individual queens will be paid at a rate of $35 per queen. Looking at how to apply. To apply for assistance, an applicant must first review the program guide in terms and conditions, and second, complete and submit the application worksheet no later than 11.59 p.m. on August 31st, 2023. And both of these documents can be found on the program website, and a link to that website will be provided on the last slide of this presentation. When completing the application worksheet, the beekeeper must record first their colony inventories on November 1st, 2021, and May 21st, 2022. Keep in mind that the number of overwintered viable colonies as of May 21st, 2022 must include any overwinter colonies sold prior to May 21st, but must not include any new colonies created by division or those purchased prior to May 21st, 2022. And the definition of viable colonies for this program are any colonies containing four or more frames with 75% of the comb area covered with bees on both sides on May 21st, 2022. The second thing the beekeeper will need to enter on the worksheet are their types and numbers of replacement stock purchased to replace their total winter losses. So these are purchases made to replace both their normal winter losses as well as their extraordinary winter losses. When entering your replacement stock purchases into the table on the application worksheet, you will notice that you are required to enter invoice information, including the invoice number, the invoice date, and seller information for each purchase. Note that you are not required to submit your actual invoices with your application. However, please also note that applicants must keep invoices and receipts or other proof of purchase information on file for auditing and verification purposes. In looking at how to calculate payments, step one would be to use your colony inventories to determine your total, normal, and extraordinary losses. So within this program, your total loss is equal to your November 1st, 2021 inventory minus your May 21st, 2022 inventory. 
Your normal loss is equal to 30% of your November 1st, 2021 inventory. And your extraordinary loss is equal to your total loss minus your normal loss. Step two would be to list all of your replacement stock purchased between January 1st, 2022 and June 30th, 2023 to address your 2021 to 2022 winter losses. Step three would be to first remove your lowest value purchases from your list until all of your normal losses are covered. Step four is to tally up your highest value purchases until all extraordinary losses are covered. And step five, the payment rates for extraordinary losses are based on the type of replacements purchased. Note that purchases remaining after normal and extraordinary losses are addressed are ineligible. Also note that purchases used for growth or to cover 2022 to 2023 winter losses cannot be claimed. Walking through an example of a payment, so in this example scenario, a beekeeper has a November 1st, 2021 inventory of 100 colonies that they prepared for winter and has a May 21st, 2022 inventory of 43 viable colonies remaining. So step one would be to calculate your total normal and extraordinary loss. So your total winter loss would be equal to 100 colonies minus 43 colonies or 57 colonies. Your normal winter loss would be equal to 100 colonies times 30% or 30 colonies. So if you subtract your normal winter loss from your total winter loss, this would give you your extraordinary winter loss, which in this example is equal to 57 minus 30 or 27 colonies. Therefore, in this example, this beekeeper would be eligible for reimbursement on a maximum of 27 replacement purchases. So keeping these numbers in mind, step two would be to list all replacements purchased between January 1st, 2022 and June 30th, 2023. So in this example, the beekeeper then purchased the following, 10 colonies on May 14th, 2022, 20 queens on May 30th, 2022, seven packages on June 20th, 2022, 15 queens on May 15th, 2023, and 10 packages on June 1st, 2023, for a total of 62 replacement purchases. Step three would be to remove your lowest value purchases attributed to your normal winter losses. So in this example, this beekeeper would need to attribute 30 of those purchases towards their normal winter losses before the payment for their extraordinary winter loss can be calculated. So in this example, the lowest value purchases are the queens, so the 20 queens purchased on May 30th, 2022, as well as the 15 queens purchased on May 15th, 2023. So we can remove the first 20 queens as well as 10 of the second batch of queens, and we'd be left with five queens remaining. Step four would be to tally up your highest value purchases attributed to your extraordinary losses. So in this example, this beekeeper could attribute a maximum of 27 purchases towards their extraordinary winter loss to calculate their payment. So in this example, the highest value purchases are the 10 colonies purchased on May 14th, 2022, as well as the seven packages on June 20th, 2022, and the 10 packages purchased on June 1st, 2023. Step five then would be to calculate the payment using the fixed reimbursement rates for each type of purchase. So for this example, the 10 colonies would be paid at a rate of $210, and the 17 packages would be paid at a rate of $140 for a total payment of $4,480. And in this example, the five queens remaining would be ineligible for reimbursement as they would be seen to be over and above the extraordinary winter loss. So just closing off, looking at the overall application package and support tools available, the program website listed here is where you will find all the necessary information and application documents, including the program guide and terms and conditions, the application worksheet, a quick reference fact sheet, as well as a link to this video. As well, the Manitoba Agriculture Twitter account will be posting regular updates and reminders about the program, 
There's also a toll-free number and email available for any questions on the program. And the Agriculture and Mask Service Centers are also available for questions on the program. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and the program administrators are looking forward to receiving your application.